What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. It was three short years ago in this very same room wearing the very same shirt. I reviewed my first resin printer, the Anycubic Photon, with its tiny build plate that set me back about 500 bucks. It was a great 2K printer and it served me well. Fast forward to today and to quote a famous 1970s commercial, you've come a long way baby. This is the Elegoo Saturn II 8K. So check out this beast of a printer. Oh my gosh, it is gigantic. In fact, this is the build plate. Look at this. This is the Anycubic Photon build plate. You could get th th almost, th almost three on this massive build plate. So this solid machine is built like a tank. And check out this, this is the, um, this is the uh, supposedly a, when I opened this thing up, uh, I saw a fan in there and then this was empty and this supposedly is a, a, uh, a fan that sucks the air in, or the stinky air in from the resin and runs it through this wonderful carbon filter. Well, unless they're making invisible carbon filters now, mine did not come with any carbon. So, Elegoo, send me a carbon filter. And this just plugs in with a uh, USB connector to this. And uh, don't be plugging anything else into this connector because there's a nice little warning on here that uh, this thing is kicking out about 24 volts and uh, you stick a USB stick in here and it's gonna go boop, it's gonna pop. So yeah, this thing, it sticks in there like so. Let me turn that around so you can see the Elegoo module there. You know, I guess you could put, uh, maybe, you know, the, the, the carbon, the, the uh, you know, the activated charcoal that comes in a little bag that you put in the back of your fish tank filters. I wonder if that would work in something like this. I guess I'd have to measure it and see, but um, yeah, anyway, check this out. This is a 10 inch monochrome screen that features a block of uh, tempered glass. This is a 9H tempered glass, and I have, uh, I've spilt some resin on it, and you know what, it just, this thing doesn't scratch. I mean, I've, wiped it down with some alcohol wipes and no, no scratches whatsoever. Again, I like the raised bolts on the vat because they sit flat on a table and your FEP does not drag up against uh, like a tabletop or any type of surface. It also uh, fits conveniently in these holes here to help you line up the bolts that go down through here. You know, this FEP is really super thick and slick and you know, it feels like, I don't know, it, it feels like a thicker plastic than you guys are used to, uh, typically with FEP. In fact, they have this massive card here that they give you to level the build plate. I'm sure this has to do with the thickness of the FEP on here. And measuring this dude out, if this measures in at uh, half a mil, 0. 0.6, actually 0. 0.6, 0. 0.6 mils. So your standard A5 paper is gonna go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, something like that. So this is like three times thicker. So yeah, you need to hold on to these and uh, keep them somewhere if you ever need to re-level your build plate because it, I'm sure it has to do with the thickness of the uh, FEP. The cover is heavy duty. It is super thick right at uh, 5.3 millimeters thick. There is a hole back here. There is a covered hole that you can uh, take, remove these four bolts and put any type of ventilation that you're wanting to use this. Let's say that you're wanting to ventilate your, let's say that you want to ventilate your resin printers to the outside or to a secondary filter. Uh, you can do that with this without having to grab the hacksaw and uh, you know cut this up because this stuff does not cut really friendly. What I really like about this 
is these gigantic eight millimeter bolts. Yeah, these gigantic eight millimeter bolts that lock this build plate down. And this thing is heavy duty and they give you they give you an extra an extra extra bolt uh, some extra screws like from around the machine uh, a couple of allen wrenches to fit the extra bolts and like i said you're gonna get this big massive eight millimeter allen wrench so as far as the capacity of the vat uh, it holds about a liter uh, and that is by this mark here that says max right at that line is about a liter of resin and you're probably asking yourself well mr. 3d print farmer this is just a heavy-duty machine with a 10 inch monochrome screen all the bells and whistles the big old eight millimeter bolts and it's heavy and it's got the cool new FEP and the, the little little uh, air filter thingy Duma Flitchy over there, uh, but what you guys want to know is how does it print? Well, let's go take a look. thoroughly pleased with the Saturn II. Uh, I believe these are $550 unless you got in on the pre-sale on these. Uh, but for a mid-size 3D resin printer with all the features that this has, I mean I paid 500 bucks for my Anycubic Photon three years ago. And it, again, it's just like the flat screen TVs, right? I mean, you got the 42 inch flat screen television that was popular, what, 10 years ago, and they were, you know, 1200 bucks. And then now you can get a, what, 65 inch, 80 inch, 100 inch for a lot less. It's technology, right? As time goes on, technology gets better, things improve. For the price that you're going to pay for this, for a monochrome screen, you're going to get super sharp, crisp prints. So the resin I used on all the test prints on this machine was hard resin by 3D RS. Now it's not an 8K resin, but they did send me some 8K resin. Where is it at? Yeah, right here. And we are going to do some testing, but I need your help. I need you to post in the comments below what models you would like to see to test this 8K resin on the Saturn II 8K. Maybe I'll use your suggestion in my video and I'll give you a shout out. So I'm gonna take this 8K resin from 3DRS and do some 10, maybe some 20 micron tests using some of your suggestions that you drop into the comments. It could be anything. It could be a model that you've seen out on my mini factory or Thingiverse or whatever just send me your suggestions for an 8k resin model now with something with a super lot of detail and we're going to put the saturn 2 8k and the 3d rs 8k resin to the test hey check out this little guy his name is biddle he's the first palm size open source servo controlled robot dog so biddle how did i do on my first video in six months <laughs> we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Say bye, Biddle.